Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Q1 FY22 earnings conference call of CM Industries Limited hosted by Monarch Networks Capital Limited. This conference call may contain forward-looking statements about the company which are based on the belief, opinions and expectations of the company as on date of this call. The statements are not the guarantees of future performance and involve risks and uncertainties that are difficult to predict. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone telephone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Anubhav Rawat from Monarch Networks Capital Limited. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Melissa. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Monarch Networks Capital, I welcome you all to 1Q FY22 conference call of CM Industries Limited. We will start the call with the initial comments about the results and the future outlook of the company, and then we will open the floor for question and answers. So, without much delay, I now hand over this call to Mr. J.K. Jain, CMD of the company. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon to all. I welcome you all to the Q1 FY22 earning call of your company. Along with me on this call, I have Mr. Rahul Jain, Director, Mr. Rajesh Sharma, Director, Mr. O.P. Gupta, CFO, Mr. Arvind Chauhan, Company Secretary, and other members of the finance team. Let me start with an overview of the industry and believe update on our financials. As you are aware, this quarter has been impacted due to the COVID second wave. Domestic two-wheeler industries declined by 38% from 5.6 million units to 3.5 million. Reflecting the above trend, the quarterly production volume from Q4 to FY21 to Q1 FY22 of our key customers big grew on the 59.4%, CVS by 29.7%, Yamaha uh, by 44.9%, and Suzuki by 36.9%. This decline in sales of our OEM also impacted our sales during this quarter. For Q1 FY22, our sales declined by 35% over Q4 FY21 which was marginally better than the overall trend of our OEM. However, we are beginning to see some encouraging trends in the current quarter. Share of the automotive LED grew by 46% of the total automotive lighting in Q1 FY22 as compared to 40% in Q4 FY21. This is driven by increased sales to Yamaha for export market. Overall, share of the Yamaha as proportion of our sales increased from 14.7% to 19.1% during this quarter. As our OEM returned back to the normal lifestyle sales, we, we expect the share of LED to return back to 40 to 42% in short term. Long term trade remains upward and this is likely to increase to 60% over the next two, three years. Now, let me turn my attention to our efforts in the fast-growing EV market. It gives me immense pleasure to inform you that our, your company has been selected as a sole supplier to Ola Electric for supplying of headlamp, tail lamp, indicator, rear fender assemblies, and mirrors. This recognition is a proof of your company's leadership in the EV segment and our ability to work with our OEMs on this new product. This is a very important milestone in our company's journey. We see a huge potential in the Indian EV segment and our confidence of capturing greater market share in this segment over the immediate term. With this, I hand over to our CFO, Mr. Gupta, and the finance team to update on detailed numbers. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to everyone. I present the quarter one numbers for FY22 
as compared to same quarter last year. The company registered a sales of rupees 272.25 crore in Q1 of current financial year against rupees 66.1 crore in corresponding quarter of 2021. As you are aware, both these quarters were impacted by COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns. The EBITDA was rupees 31.53 crore, translating into an EBITDA margin of 11.58% as compared to a negative EBITDA of rupees 15.38 crore in Q1 of last financial year. Pet of the company for Q1 of current financial year was rupees 11.77 crore as compared to loss of rupees 23.83 crore in Q1 of FY21. Now let me present the quarter number in comparison with Q4 FY21. Total sales during Q1 FY22 is rupees 272.25 crore as compared to 414.98 crore in Q4 FY21. This is a decline of 35% driven by lower sales across the OEM. The EBITDA was rupees 31.53 crore, translating into an EBITDA margin of 11.58% as compared to EBITDA of rupees 53.33 crore in Q4 FY21. This declining EBITDA is driven by lower sales. Pet during Q1 FY22 is rupees 11.77 crore as compared to pet of rupees 25.49 crore in Q4 FY21. The results were significantly impacted due to the COVID second wave. During the quarter, the company has made a capex investment of rupees 5.43 crore. We continue to be a net zero tax company. With this, I end the financial brief and now the floor is open for question and answer. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may enter star and one on your touchstone telephone. If your questions have been answered and you wish to withdraw yourself from the queue, you may enter star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. To ask a question, you may enter star and one. We have the first question from the line of Ashutosh Tiwari from Equiris Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, congrats on this uh, Ola order. Uh, we have been doing very well in the Thank you. First, we Yama and now uh, Ola. So, just wanted to know because this is all uh, full LED uh, products, and I think uh, headlight of Yama, this Ola is also uh, looks like a better lamp. Uh, so what would be the content basically? Will it be more than 2500 rupees per vehicle of uh, these products that is supplied to Ola? Uh, I'm, I'm Rajesh Sharma. Uh, this is uh, uh, too early to disclose uh, such kind of things. Uh, of course, we will be soon uh, declare once the product will be in the market. Okay, but this is this is all full LED products, so relatively much higher than what yeah, you did in this all LED. Uh, this is all LED. First of all, I will just uh, give you a brief about headlamp, tail lamp, blinker. All this is the LED. Okay, okay. And uh, secondly, uh, it would not require any investment per se from outside in the SMT capacity or anything like that. It can be done from the current plan. It will be from the current plan only. And what is the inflation level uh, current line? Do you say Q1, but in Q4, what is the inflation level of the plant overall? In uh, at the moment, we, uh, you know, in the Q1, it was uh, 65%. And this uh, this quarter, we are expecting 75%. Okay, okay. And in the peak demand, it can go up to 90%. Okay, okay. 
And what what it was in Q4? What it was? In Q4 uh, last year, around eighty five percent. Okay, okay. And secondly, uh, Yamaha also uh, obviously the less impacted because of the exports, and uh, it seemed to have done almost fifty to fifty three crore sales uh, to Yamaha. So Yamaha, uh, looking at earnings, was easily close to hundred crore sales this year, right? Yeah, we, we are. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah, can you repeat the question, please? If I look at Yamaha sales, this is I think 19% of this quarter, so almost like uh, 53 crores, uh, 52 crores sales in the current quarter to Yamaha. So I'm saying that I'm asking that uh, Yamaha sales can cross uh, 200 crore plus in this year, right? Yes, they yes. can cross. Okay, and uh, uh, then uh, other expenses appear quite low. Obviously, uh, plant is operating at lower level, but still, uh, as a percentage, says it has not uh, moved much quarter on quarter. So, was there any one-off in other expenses, or these are normalized other expenses or uh, lower production? No, basically, you know, in the Q1, uh, the, it, it was impacted because of the second wave. So, this quarter yeah. seems to be better, and. Uh, Uh, we hope uh, we are very uh, aggressive on this. So other expenses, I mean, if, uh, I mean, see, so last quarter expenses of four twenty odd crores, other expenses are around sixty two crores. This quarter around two seventy four crores, so it's almost thirty two crores. Then other expenses is roughly half of Q four level. So, but sales are not declined uh, to that extent. So, is there any one of item in other expenses that side is lower or this is normal kind of? There is no one-off. This is normal. This is, yeah, this is because of the lower share. All uh, there is no one-off. There is no one-off in that. Okay. So as production improves, our margin can go back to the twelve, twelve and a half plus. Yes. Same what uh, in the normal conditions. Okay. 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 And what do you see? Is plan for this year now? Uh, So far, as as told earlier, that we have done five point five, and our uh, capex plan is thirty five crores. Thirty five crores for four years. Yeah. Okay. And this is only uh, this is all maintenance capex only. Yeah, the maintenance plus the additional uh, you know assembly line growth plan means growth capex also. Okay. 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 Thanks a lot, and all of this. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Before we move to the next question, we would like to remind participants to ask a question. You may enter star and one. We also request you to use your handsets while asking a question. We have the next question from the line of Nitish Pandey from Tata Asset Management. Please go ahead. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Pandey, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we cannot hear you clearly. Is it better now? Yes, it's better. Thank you. Okay. Same opportunity. I have one question. That uh, I mean, how do you see this? Uh, this Ola uh, business will add a add to the top line, the complete uh, overall top line. And the second question that how do you see? Uh, I mean, what is the your projection? How do you see uh, the top line growth in next three to four years? Uh, we are we are very. Uh, Uh, we have very uh, the opportunities are enormous, and uh, EV segment is going to grow very very fast, and uh, we we expect uh, 20 to 25 percent growth year to year. And how much does uh, Ola business will add to overall top line, sir? So as we told earlier, you know the, we are in the final you know stages of you know. Uh, if it's supplying, so once the supply is uh, stabilized, we will be able to declare in the next quarter. Uh, Mr. Pandey, does that answer your question? Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, so we are unable to hear you. We would request you to come back in the queue. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Yash Gupta from Angel Broking. Please go ahead. 
थैंक यू फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी सर माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन मिस्टर गुप्ता वी आर अनेबल टू हियर यू क्लियरली सर प्लीज यूज योर हैंडसेट या इट्स बेटर नाउ नो सर द ऑडियो या या ओके प्लीज गो अहेड या सर माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द करंट कैपेसिटी यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ एलईडी हेडलैम्प्स एंड द टेल लैम्प्स नो द कैपेसिटी यूटिलाइजेशन इज ऑन प्लांट बेसिस इट इज नॉट ऑन प्रोडक्ट बेसिस सो वंस द प्रोडक्ट मिक्स चेंज the same capacity we can realize more sales so overall capacity utilization of 75% is for the overall capacity yes yes all plant put together all plant put together and uh, sir one uh, second thing uh, can you throw some light on uh, this agreement what we have done with the ola uh, where you want to see this overall uh, uh, overall agreement in next 2 uh, 2 3 uh, do you expect that uh, we will only be the sole supplier and along with that do we required to do any new capex uh, due to uh, due to this agreement what we have done because if we look at the uh, capacity of the ola factory it looks to be uh, very huge so uh, do we expect any new capex that we need to do for uh, for this current uh, uh, contract as you know as of now two projects is being launched by ola this is s1 and s1 pro and uh, their ola plants is very aggressive so but we cannot comment as of now it is totally be depend on the ola's condition how they become and how they wrap up their plant accordingly we are ready to ऑल्सो but uh, for the for this year you know we don't expect uh, uh, beyond 35 beyond 35 uh, beyond 35 okay sure thank you sir thank you thank you before we move to the next question we would like to request participants to when you are asking a question please use your handset we have the next question from the line of anish munka from jst investments please go ahead sir thank you for this opportunity so my first question is like what we observe is that our per quarter employee cost pre covid was approximately 50 to 52 crores then it decreased to 21 crores in q1 fy21 and 41 crores in q2 fy21 then it normalized to over 50 crores in q3 and q4 of fy21 currently it has decreased again to 44 crores so my question is how are we so flexible with employee cost compared to other peers have you seen any increased attrition in the last five quarters due to uh, this and do we have enough manpower to grow our business uh, to take our business to higher capacity utilization thank you thank you uh, so your first question about this flexibility of the manpower cost so then direct uh, manpower is like contract labor this is flexible and it depends on the sales volume so this is flexible as far as the permanent employee cost is there it is also as per the requirement and our normal employee cost is between 13 to 14% okay and this will continue yes okay so my next question is so currently we have a net cash of 100 crores plus on our balance sheet uh, and this could go up to 200 to 250 crores by the end of this year uh, so actually this is creating a big drag on the return ratios of our company so what will be the capital allocation policies that the company will follow going forward to address this issue also are we looking at any inorganic ways to grow thank you thank you uh, first thing our uh, free cash as on at the end of the quarter is 45 crore and we are a net debt company as already informed regarding the utilization of this cash we are a growing company we have aggressive growth plans so whatever be the capex requirement it will be through this internal accruals as well as the if required from uh, outside so most of this internal accruals will be for the growth so how much time sir will it take to increase our uh, capacity basically it takes 3 to 4 months time uh to increase up to what limits sir how much leeway do we have 
if you want to do it? Uh, depend depend on the customer requirement. So, you know, up to uh, up to 20-25% capacity can be increased because we have enough land and all the land belongs to the company. Mm -hmm. So, we have enough land and, uh, you know, within three to four uh, months, the capacity can be increased. Okay, thank you and all the best, sir. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Abhishek Vigneswar, an investor. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hi. Congratulations from the Ola order. Am I audible? Uh, sir, please use the handset. The audio is not very clear. Yeah. Congratulations from the Ola order. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah. Actually, my question also already asked. It is based on the new capacity expansion in terms of the OLA order, since their capacity is around 2 million units per annum. So do we need to expand our capacity to uh, produce for that OLA order since we are going to be the sole supplier? Yeah, as you know that uh, our Hosur plant is strategically located near OLA factory in South India. We are thus very well positioned to handle the OLA business. And moreover, whenever the capacity is required, we have, we have as, as I told earlier, we have enough land. So it can be built uh, in uh, four, four to five months, it can uh, start, you know, production to their requirements. Okay. So there are phase-wise plans here. So we have the first phase right now. And okay. as it scales up, it will put in more. And uh, any, some other information regarding the OLA order? Hello. I told earlier, so yeah. and as, as to so, and uh, many things are in pipeline. Uh, okay. So I'm sorry to interrupt. This is the operator. The audio from your line is breaking. Management. Okay. Now it's clear. Yes, sir. It is. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Vigneswar, that does a does a yeah, that's a question. Method. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Samir Dosani from Carnelian Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for taking my question. Congratulations on the Ola order. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to, one clarification: Is there some exclusivity period uh, because we are the sole supplier to Ola? See, as long as you are QC DDM, it is always exclusivity. So you have to be, you have to be, you know, show your performance, your quality, and your development. All these things, you know, to get make you exclusive. Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. That that's it for my side. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Naveen Mata from Mahindra Manual Life. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, this was again a question uh, on on this Ola order. So I just want to understand the arrangement. Uh, I thought it was going to be a kind of a phase ramp up, as you also mentioned. Uh, so when you are saying uh, your sole supplier, I just wanted to know whether this is for, let's say, the phase one or even beyond that. No, no. Basically, as I told you, you know, at the, so far they have uh, announced two models. And uh, we, we, they have already decided, and we are in the final stage of the you know, production. Okay. And uh, right. further, as and when the declare, you will come to know yourself see how it is. Because we can't uh, declare anything at the moment because of this, you know, we are having NDA. Okay. Uh, right, sir. And, sir, you mentioned one data point earlier that it will not cross some uh, number. Uh, I, I I didn't catch that exactly. Uh, were you referring to the volumes for this year uh, for uh, for Ola? No, 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 no. no, no. Which which numbers okay. you are referring? I, I I might have missed that. Uh, I thought you were some thirty five numbers that you had mentioned. I wasn't sure exactly what that was referring. To. Yeah, thirty five crores is the capex plan for current year. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, just one more, sir. I know this is, uh, again, uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, confidential to a certain extent, but just directionally, uh, if you can give an indication as to this order uh, or with regards to EVs, your business, 
uh, is that going to be margin accretive as compared to our company level margins currently uh, or how should one think about that no it will be similar similar okay led will be similar. but that would be at a certain level of ramp up so if i'm not wrong exactly yeah okay okay all right so that's it for my side thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen to ask a question you may enter star and one we have the next question from the line of rona kvora from home advisors please go ahead uh, hi sir congratulations on a good set of number uh, so uh, i just got two questions first uh, in, from our current capacity what kind of asset turnover can we make or what kind of top line can we make for a full year if it's uh, normalized here yeah with that with this capacity we can go up to 1700 crores however as the trend towards led is increasing so this capacity would be able to generate much higher turnover hence the product mix is also important to achieve more turnover with the same capacity okay so currently uh, when you think 1700 crores does that uh, so is it like our current mix like 40% led and 60% uh, non led conventional i think absolutely yeah. absolutely correct the more we go into led the sale will also the 1700 crores will also increase accordingly mm. Mr. Vora, does that answer your question? Hello. So I believe uh, the part we've lost the participants line. We'll move to the next question. The next question is from the line of Ankur Sharma, an investor. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah. So uh, I want to ask, uh, what parts do we supply to Okinawa, Revolt, and Ampere? and uh, are we the sole supplier in any other uh, ev player yeah okinawa we are supplying of course uh, headlamp tail lamps mirrors accessibility all all the items all all are in led for both the models which is uh, which are under um, as of now in the market and uh, ampere also we are supplying few components not uh, headlamp and tail lamp but there are mirrors and winkles we are supplying to ampere other evs other evs also there are not many other evs we have we are working together and uh, in a like supplying like for all the lamps like electrotherm and hero electric like that we are supplying to okay uh, thank you uh, i have one more question uh, how much revenue uh, are you making from ev right now and uh, what is the sales estimate for the next 3 years you know at the moment the ev is just uh, starting and uh, after coming ola it is it is becoming a very very big opportunity so uh, you know this is we are in the initial stage so it is the opportunity is enormous so we are expecting a very huge sale and very uh, you know more than uh, uh, yeah very good uh, you know sales we are expecting in this Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks for that. Uh, one last question: uh, Are there any talks with any other OEMs? Uh, and uh, can you please give an update on Hero Motor Corp? We are we are working with Hero Motor Corp, but it will take uh, time, definitely, because uh, we, we are they they are into line to take that kind of business. So as of now, we we are not in position to declare anything. but soon uh, once the things will be realized will definitely be in form uh, and we are in the almost in yeah. the okay. so uh, participant uh, your audio is breaking we are unable to hear you clearly uh, yeah i just said thank you yeah that's enough thank you Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, you may enter star and one. We have the next question from the line of Dhananjay Mishra from Sunidhi Securities and Finance. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Uh, so you said uh, uh, you have guided for twenty twenty five to thirty percent kind of revenue growth. What kind of margin trajectory you are look you will be looking for next two three years? 
दिस विल मेंटेन करंट मार्जिन से एट इलेवन ट्वेल्व परसेंट डबल डिजिट इलेवन टू ट्वेल्व परसेंट Okay, and this quarter export is about five percent. So, how do you look uh, export growth? I mean, it is going to increase. Export share is going to increase going yes. forward. Yes, yes, it is going to increase. So, it will be like ten percent two years down the line. No, 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 no. Uh, we are expecting some growth, not uh, two years down. Not in percentage. We cannot uh, explain as of now in percentage, but we are definitely be looking for a good growth in the future. And again, coming back to this Ola, so we are already supplying to them, or we we will be supplying, we will start supplying for next quarter. Yes, Ola has already informed they will be uh, launch this vehicle in the market month of October. So okay. for next month onwards, supply will start. Okay, so we will start uh, booking revenue from Q3 uh, uh, onwards, or for Ola? Yeah, based on their or based on their, you know, supply, the revenue will start coming. Okay, so um, if if we are uh, going to supply from next month onwards, so probably will be booking uh, revenue from Q3 onwards, and and you can say that this this year itself we will have a, uh, a fair contribution from uh, this order. Yes, we are we are very bullish on this. Okay, all done. And that's all from my side. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, you may enter star and one. We have the next question from the line of Ankit Merchant from Quest Investments. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, my question is pertaining to the kit value. Uh, just trying to understand that uh, how much would be the difference between The LED kit value and uh, the halogen kit value. Also, from the Ola perspective, I don't. I believe that the realization won't have a very big difference because uh, it will just it will be in the range of what we have been doing for the for the uh, LED kit, which we which we are supplying to the other two wheeler OEMs. Yeah, if we talk about conventional lamp, conventional lamp has the tail lamp. Incas all put together, it is always be ranging from 800 to 1500 rupees. Wherein, with respect to LED, if we talk about, it is around 200 to 5500 or 6000 approximately. Okay. It depends on the design and uh, configuration which is required or uh, designed from the customer point of view. Okay, so be it for IC or for EV, that uh, LED kit value which which you just said would be in in that range only. That is between two and a half thousand to five five and a half thousand. That is exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To ask a question, you may enter star and one. We have the next question from the line of Varun Padani from Quant Mutual Fund. Please go ahead. Yeah. So my question is with respect to the technology. So how does our Technology with respect to our products compare with those of competitors, and you know, from pricing point of view, also where are we in the premium segment or mid segment? Where are we in the pyramid? Uh, if you could briefly touch upon these things. Yeah, it is totally dependent on the vehicle manufacturer, what kind of product they are looking for. It is of course styling. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt. This is the operator. The audio from your line is breaking, sir. Now is clear? Yes, sir. It is clear now. Thank you. Yeah, it is totally be depend on the customer requirement. Of course, uh, every customers have their features, different features in the lamps, and based on that only cost is being calculated. Right, and on the technology part. Technology part, if of course uh, we we have our technical center, design center in Italy, and uh, that is a wholly subsidiary company of PM. But uh, together with the subsidiary company, we are working together, and we are uh, giving this. Okay. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
We have the next question from the line of Anubhav Rawat. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Uh, congratulations on a good performance in a tough time, sir. So, uh, sir, few basic questions. So, sir, the semiconductor shortage that is going on. So, sir, what is your view on the overall industry as to uh, what is happening on the ground level? Yeah, of course. Uh, there is a shortage in semiconductor and electronic components. Electronic components. But uh, we are we are managing this uh, discussion or uh, with managing uh, we are managing all the demand as of now uh, together with the OEMs uh, consultation. And uh, some of the products we are buying on the spot uh, purchase also. Uh, and uh, somehow we are managing with the uh, existing supplier as well as new suppliers too. Okay, okay, sure, sir. And sir, uh, alluding to one of the questions and a par participant asked, so uh, besides Ola, are we a sole supplier in any other uh, OEM or specifically EV as of now? Yes, we, uh, we can say uh, Okinawa is the one company, Electrotom is the second one. These are the uh, sole suppliers. And many uh, more in the pipeline. Because the EV, EV market is now growing and uh, we, are, uh, we are working with lots of other uh, manufacturers. And we'll soon be declared about those also. Great, sir. Perfect. So, sir, uh, from this, uh, one more question arises. So, earlier in con calls, you had said that, you know, at our maximum capacity utilization, a uh, revenue of, you know, 1700, 1800 would be achieved. So, now, would you like to revise that, sir? I mean, uh, it should go up further up, right? For the no, no. Basically, yeah. Basically, what we have said earlier was 1700 based on the known LED and some mix of LED. So the more more the uh, uh, train will come, automatically this is because it is 2x as compared to the normal one. So, so basically, automatically this uh, uh, sale uh, from 1700 to cross can cross 2000, 2500, something like that. Depend on more utilization of uh, LED. Perfect, perfect. Understood, sir. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. I'll fall, I'll fall back with you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a question, you may enter star and one. We have the next question from the line of Amit Botra, an investor. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi. I hope I'm audible. Yes. Okay. Uh, thanks for the opportunity, sir. Sir, I have a quick one question in terms of the new products. Now, if you look at the presentation of the company, uh, they are couple of new products that company has ventured into, like LED lights, bulbs, even LED displays. And uh, out of, I think there's one more product, which is, uh, uh, you know, bank anchor, uh, which you have showed an excellent growth in the last, you know, two years from 2021. So I just want to understand, like, what are our plans for these uh, new products in the next you know, couple of years? Basically, we are very uh, towards LED, uh, LED lamps in auto. So, as we declared last time, also we have 40 plus projects under development as of now, which will be realized in next two years' time uh, to give it, to give our net growth uh, of sales in coming years. Okay, so for these LED displays and LED, you know, bulbs and lights, since they are like, you know, a different industry altogether compared to the, you know, it's not a automotive industry, it's a non-automotive. Are you planning for some kind of a, you know, a separate line of business or separate stream in terms of a marketing, um, you know, marketing heads? Are there any plans which are in the pipeline which you can share? No, uh, our our clear focus is on the LED automotive segment. The other uh, we have already informed that our other segment, which were there, the other luminary segment is on a rundown. So our company would be only focused on the automotive LED segment. Okay, thanks. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Manan Patel from Eravat Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir, and congratulations for the solar order. Sir, I want 
to understand from you the uh, mix of EV, uh, LED, and halogen going forward. As you mentioned, that in the in the few years it will be 50-50. But uh, given the circumstances, I am assuming that all EV will be LED business. And if EVs are going to disrupt, uh, shouldn't our LED mix be much higher than 50%? Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, it is not good. In next two three years, we are expecting 60 percent. But it depend again if the uh, as uh, you know the EV looks to be very very aggressive. No wonder it will reach to 70 percent. So basically, it depends uh, how how fast the other people also come. So there is, uh, but the the trend is very aggressive in EV now. And from government side also, it is very 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 encouraging to everybody. Understood. Sir, in that light, do you see any uh, any any disruptions in our halogen business itself and uh, and the players, other players who use our uh, halogen bulbs? So if you can throw some so light on that disruption. Uh, basically, I can't say about halogen, but I can say the trend is towards LED. So more and more EVs and more and more new new things, new features that can be generated by LED only. So I am seeing a great future in LED as compared to halogen. Understood, sir. Thanks a lot. That's it from me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a reminder to ask a question. You may enter star and one. We have the next question from the line of Vidhi Dadia from Redan. Securities, please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Uh, congratulations on uh, the Ola order. So my question is, as per your understanding, what makes Ola choose CM industry as the sole supplier for its uh, EV body aesthetics? And how are you placed against your competitors for the same product? Thank you. Basically, you know, any business. Uh, any newcomers or any OEMs, you will be just based on QCDDM. How is the, how how is your quality? How is the quality rating in the existing with the existing customer? How is your factory? How much you are uh, better equipped than your others? How is your design capability? How is your uh, you know the basically electronic uh, capacity? As I told in uh, earlier, that we were the first in India to put up the assembly line. Today, uh, we have most of the thing in house, which our competitor doesn't have. So basically, it depends how better you can do uh, score uh, as compared to your, uh, uh, your competitor. So based on QC DDM, they select you, and based on that, we got the order from Ola also. Okay. Perfect, sir. That's great. Thank you so much, and all the best for the growth ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Sunil Shah from Total Star Portfolio Managers. Please go ahead. Uh, so, just for my understanding, what would be the kit value in a two-wheeler if it is halogen-based and the kit value in a two-wheeler if it is uh, LED-based? Yeah, as as we explained in the next uh, last question also, uh, it is around, if we talk about it, uh, halogen, it is ranging from 800 to 1500 as a kit value. Okay. In case we go with the LED headlamp, stair lamp, drinker, complete kit, it is ranging from 2000 rupees to 500 or 6000. It is totally depend on the configuration of uh, product which we are designing for customer. Okay. And sir, the margins on both of these? Margins are same. Margins are same. Okay, it, it does not make any difference. Fine, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have the next question from the line of Amit Botra, an investor. Please go ahead. Yeah. Hi, sir. One more question, I think, and this is last time. Uh, so what is the opportunity that you're looking from the railways? I think you said uh, in the previous presentations as well, if you're looking for something great. Is there any anything ballpark that we can be you know, on? No, we are not expecting uh, very good uh, volume from that side. It's not so, a focus area for yeah. us anymore. It so our, as, I, as we told earlier, our focus is auto. And especially LED, uh, LED lens. Okay. Auto so LED. Because, of, 
Okay, sir. Is it because of COVID and you know the recent uh, rundown from the railways in terms of uh, for investment, or is it for the long term as well? Yeah, long term. Long term, basically. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We have the before we move to the next question. We would like to remind participants to ask a question. You may enter star and one. We have the next question from the line of Kashyap Zaveri from MK Global. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, please. Yes, am I audible? Yes, yes please. Uh, sir, congratulations on the new order win uh, from uh, you know the the EV space. Uh, just wanted to check one thing. Uh, so, you know, when this order was, uh, you know, under uh, negotiation, uh, you know, were we involved in this particular order, uh, you know, um, right since inception, like, you know, designing, engineering, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, just wanted to understand, uh, you know, our scope of involvement, uh, you know, with the vendor, which would obviously help us, you know, in, in, in future also. Because what I could see is that, you know, this, this lamp design is, you know, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I don't know whether that's the right word, but I mean, it, it was totally out of the box. So I just wanted to check on our involvement, uh, you know, since, uh, since the beginning, how much was, uh, you know, the, there in this. Basically, you know, any new product, any new uh, customer, it is, uh, they give us one uh, a particular area and based on that, we totally design and then uh, we give features, then uh, then it, it goes to them and then they tell us the features. Based on that, we design the lamp. Right. So the, all the latest features is the design. As you know, that we have a uh, wholly owned subsidy in, uh, in the design sector in uh, Italy. So right. we take help of the, uh, that subsidy and use the latest design based on the customer requirement. So right. basically, everything right from the, the, the total designing is done by us, based on the customer requirement. Okay, okay, okay. So it is not something we copy. We don't copy. We can't copy. So we have to no, design No, I think uh, not product. you copying. What I'm trying to understand is that was the design given by the vendor, uh, sorry, the customer, or we did it right I, from I, scratch? I, I, yeah, this is from the fresh only because what we are getting from customer is a surface of the product. The profile which is being think by the customer, the right. styling being think by the customer, we are getting only that much of uh, surface. And overall designing of internal, mechanical, electrical, optical, this is all done by us only. Okay, so okay. All the, customer, all the customer process is like that only. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, second question is on, uh, you know, the four-wheeler side. Uh, you know, uh, about a couple of years ago, we were trying to get in, uh, you know, with uh, uh, one of the Japanese companies uh, through a joint venture or uh, through the technology. Uh, is anything, uh, you know, coming up on that? Is it now on sort of back burner uh, or it's something we are not looking at all at, at this point of time? As of now, we are working, our focus is on two-wheeler business, but of course, okay. uh, we are working on that front also. And mm -hmm. uh, once we'll get some partners, we'll definitely be introduced in the market. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's it from my side, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, you may enter star and one. We have the next question from the line of Anubhav Rawat. Please go ahead. Yeah, I have one follow-up question. So, sir, this LED luminous asset that we had, uh, like, you know, we invested a couple of years ago. So, uh, is my understanding right that most of it has been, you know, utilized in our normal business, uh, which is LED lamps and halogen lamps, and the remaining would have depreciated more or less over these years? Uh, I mean, so what I'm trying to understand is that it won't hamper our return ratios anymore, right, going forward. Is the understanding correct? Yes, correct. correct. So basically, you know, it is a rundown business. So we are, uh, whatever, uh, you know, we are able to, you know, take uh, into the auto because auto LED is increasing. So all this machinery we are trying to utilize in auto. So basically, uh, for luminaries, it is a rundown business for us. We are no more interested in that. Okay, sure, sir. Understood. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, you may enter star and one.
participants, if you have a question, you may enter star and one. As there are no further questions, I would like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Please go ahead, sir. Uh, I hope we have been able to supply, reply all your uh, queries adequately. I would like to thank everyone for sparing your valuable time and participating in the con call. Please stay safe and be healthy. Thank you very much. Thank you, members of the management and Mr. Rawat. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of FIM Industries and Monarch Network Capital Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.